Okay, I am live. Now, it took me a minute to get everything set up. Now, the reason why I haven't streamed like the previous two days is like health-related issues. Um, one day I had, let me just pause this for a second. One day I had a massive, massive migraine that was... That was fucking Thursday. Um, well, you know, I think it actually started on Wednesday and it, it just never really went away. Uh, but I'm, I'm almost in stream now because I am not fully recovered. Let me just click over to my cast. Yeah, now I can see chat and stuff. Not that that's always a good idea. Now I'm going to uh, mute my microphone because there's going to be a bit, more than a fair bit of dialogue in this mission. But before I get it started, I will say this much. Uh, I can kind of screw it up from here on out. Like It'd be easy to screw it up. Uh, thank you for the follow. I could very easily screw it up from here, so I'm going to, if I do screw it up, I will have to restart it from this point forward, but it wouldn't be the beginning of the, mi the mission. I believe it's the middle of it. Uh, so, yeah, that is pretty much where I'm at. And... I'm kind of tired of all those bots following my channel and magically unfollowing just to hear my alerts. So there's going to be there's going to be um there's going to be a tweet about that that's going to be reserved strictly for my community and to prevent people from out uh, from responding to it outside of my community. It's going to be up for a maximum of 24 hours, and I'm. Before I even send it out, I'm going to have my chat, have my Twitter and um, uh, in private only, so that people that are already following can see it. But anyone else, they won't. Um, I'm getting hit with follow bots, but not as bad as some other channels are. A lot of channels are getting hit with really disturbing shit in their chat log um either because my community is small or because of the fact that it's um it's kept in follower only mode one of those two things has protected my channel um if it's the size then that's not that's not a surefire way to protect my channel but if it is because it's follower only mode then that's just further justification for keeping it in the current mode it's right it's already in this is pretty much the only time you can shoot at your own ship fairly certain I unmuted the game, but let me just check before I mute myself. Yeah, I, un I unmuted the game. Now, I'm muting myself for dialogue purposes. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. 
Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are gonna get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Williams. You'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. 
or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, Eagle Corps team. Manovai, Prieto team, move! Time to get some attention. Coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets helping the Geth target. Okay, that is one down. Now I'm going to pause the game and save it in a new file in case I screw up. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. Hostile spotted! Sat strikes. Jayetto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back.
I fucked up, but I didn't fuck up to a degree where I couldn't uh, recover it. That was on me. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Men, hold the line. We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Solarians to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Okay, if I'm right, then I didn't screw up. Now, there's a reason why I did what I did. I'm not going to say on stream what it was because I'm not going to spoil the game on my own 
uh, channel. Now, I'm not going to be speaking much because this mission has a lot of dialogue that I don't uh, that I don't want to talk over. Hello? Is someone out there? Give a little ground, Williams. You don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. And this is where um, <laughs> I continue playing as uh, asshole he, uh, asshole savior. <laughs> Well, you're not a Gath, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. And far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed. Thank you, human, and good luck. You'll need it. No threat here, Commander. Are they even aware of us? No, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but to leave them like this. Better to die than to live like this. Just mow them down, Commander? I'm all for it. Every second like that must be torture. I know I'd sooner be dead. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd have said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Commander. He's not part of the mission. No. No. I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. 
I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. Shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it. Like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think... He's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. You conducted brutal experiments on helpless test subjects. You helped Saren. 
You don't get to live. I just did what I was told. I didn't have a choice. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't help your victims. No! No! Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own. You cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply... Or The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them, the legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. 
You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship's Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there, fast. This console is shot. Orders, Commander? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. Gath returning from your position, Jato. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them.
Now it's our turn. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Charges set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now! Negative! It's too hot! Can't risk it! We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Heads up, LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. 
It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bombsite. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Y yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power. Even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. 
Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. All right, everybody, hang on! I... I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Elenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Ash, how far are you going to drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose you because of it. Aye, aye, Shepard. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead.
Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits are on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, Ascension Machine. A true artificial intelligence, this news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Here's another saying. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough! Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. 
Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I need to find out if a certain character actually lived through that mission. If I did everything right, and I think I did, they uh, will have uh, lived through the mission. I will mute myself briefly um, while I talk to them and the crew if they survived. If they didn't, that would mean I need to start all over from the middle of the mission or the beginning of the stream. Here we go. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Olenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. Commander, I... what can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, sir. Hey, Skipper. Seems like everything's coming together. After what we saw in Vermeer, it better come together. Alenko, the Lieutenant. I'd hate to think his loss meant nothing. We have to get everyone together on this. The Alliance can't take the Reapers alone. The bigger they are, the more megatons we chuck. We've got warning now. We'll be ready. There's a reason for everything that happened, Shepard, even if you don't understand it at the time. What you did on Torfin, it was a hard call, but it gave you the strength you needed on this mission. And that got you here. Commanding the finest tin can in the Alliance fleet. This is exactly where the galaxy needs you to be. No pressure. Where do you need me, Chief? Wouldn't mind a foot massage, sir. Sorry. I'll be serious. I... I need time to think. We've been focused on the mission. When we're done, it'll be different, I swear. You alright with that? 
I understand, Chief. The galaxy isn't gonna save itself. The cheering mobs will never know how much you've sacrificed, Commander. Sleep tight, Shepard. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. Shepard. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? I should go. See you later. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Okay, here's basically what happened. The uh, character, Captain uh, Carey, he there is many ways in which he can easily die. You need to complete that mission perfectly. And if you don't, he dies. Now, I'm only uh, doing this spoiler because of how far uh, we are in this story. Now, I meticulously went through everything I'm supposed to do to keep him alive. And after all that, I just wanted to make absolutely sure that... Uh, he survived even after I did everything correct by going into the deck that he's supposed to be in if he survives. Now because of that I can easily save over it and not care. Now for the next stream which I believe will be Tuesday uh, I'm going to be doing all of the side missions all the all of the assignments because the weapon that I wanted to get I finally unlocked which means that I don't care if I you know I left a whole bunch of side missions specifically uh, so that I could finish them with my preferred weapon of choice but unfortunately my preferred weapon of choice is a late game weapon that is irritating um, I'm not at 100%. I still have this fucking headache. It's not as bad as it was uh, on Wednesday. No, because it was... Yeah, it was Wednesday when I got it. Um, so I, I'm currently on day three my time of having this damn headache. 
but it's not as bad as it was and I basically didn't think I was going to be able to stream but I basically I went live for the reason being that I wanted to make sure that I at least streamed one more day this week I want to make sure that I only missed two streams I wasn't a fan of taking two streams off now with that said I'm going to add in my um, link to my charity and all that other shit Okay, all my streams are charity streams that benefit St. Jude. Uh, money for the charity goes through Tiltify. Money that goes to bits and uh, subscriptions goes to the streamer and not the charity. I say that so that uh, I so that people don't mistake one for the other and people don't people know where their money is going. Um, yeah, so. Uh, my charity is called the Never Ending Campaign because if the link ever breaks or fails, I renew it as soon as humanly possible. And the charity benefits St. Jude. So yeah, there's all the charity stuff. And we are currently uh, two streamers strong. Um, so yeah, uh, I need to do this and I'm going to end cast. Because I was planning on this being a short stream. <laughs>